Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a complete step-by-step -step guide on cleaning the interior of your car, but this time around, we're not actually gonna be using any car cleaning chemicals whatsoever. In fact, we're just gonna be relying on a good old-fashioned steam cleaner. So the aim of today's video is to show you how to steam a car with a basic model. And the one I'm using here is the Karcher SC3 because it's the most popular steam cleaner in the UK right now. Plus at the end of the video, I will be revealing the biggest things to avoid when steam cleaning. So make sure you get your microfiber towel ready because things are about to get hot and steamy. So this is the tool that comes with every single Karcher steam cleaner. Simply clicks on like so and you're ready to go. But normally what you do with this is you would put a sock over the top. And when I say sock, I mean one of their very own designated steam cleaner socks. I wish I could give you an example, but I have no idea in this unit of madness where mine have completely gone. However, there is a good alternative. And it's these right here, the microfiber cloths. Now these, I'm always gonna go on about these. I'm always gonna plug them because they're just fantastic cloths from a company called Microfiber. Do go get yourself them because they are absolutely brilliant. Now what I like to do is normally I would take my microfiber cloth, wrap it over here like so, and then I would normally use something like an elastic band to hold it in. So basically those socks that come with the karcher, this is ultimately what's going to happen. But because I don't know where it is, we're just gonna make do today. So if I was carrying out a massive deep clean, what I would normally do is remove everything out of the entire car. Reason being is when we have temperatures like this, it's quite cold. And the reason being is because there is gonna be a lot of steam, there's gonna be a lot of moisture it can get into a lot of nooks and crannies and it can also get on other things like electricals or if you've got spare clothes or anything here and if you do get this dampness where the car's going to go back outside and we've got freezing temperatures you could find especially like even with the seatbelt areas here if you start steam cleaning your seatbelt you then put the seatbelt back leave it outside for a few days you're going to get a build up of mold because you've got no heat you've got no air circulating around the car it's going to get very damp it's going to get very cold and that's when the mold always builds up in those seatbelt areas so that's one area you really do need to be very careful of. In conditions like this, I seriously do not recommend that you start steam cleaning seatbelts unless it's necessary, or you are guaranteed going to get these 100% dry. But drying a seatbelt is definitely not an easy task. So we're just gonna work on a few different surfaces. The first thing I wanna do is start off with one of the door cards. So you can just see how effective this is gonna be at cleaning without using any chemicals. Now look, I have my own theory on how I would personally go about doing this. And I know my theories are not always 100% correct, but I just wanna share my own experience, how I would personally carry this out. So the first thing I would do before anything is either blow away any dirt or give it a good vacuum. The reason being is the second I'm gonna start using a steam cleaner and I'm gonna start pushing loads of steam and mist into the air, all it's gonna do is have the same effect as what you would use with a blower, but this time what will happen is because I'm blasting steam into the pockets here, it's getting all the crumbs nice and wet. And as you're blasting it, those crumbs are gonna become damp, wet or whatever, and they're literally going to stick onto the surface, which means it's even more difficult to clean. It just makes a right horrible mess. So make sure the surface is 100% dry before you even start cleaning anything. Now we have a couple of stains on here, nothing naughty, just usual sweat and dirt stains that normally appear. Don't even know how it happens, it just does. But the steam cleaner should be more than good enough to clean them up. Now, I don't wanna do this too much because I don't wanna saturate the seats, but it is just steam. So these are very old seats. Not every single Alcantara seat would I recommend that you start hammering it with this. You've gotta test the little area first. Thankfully, this is a 1500 pound Audi, so it really isn't worth a lot of money. So I can literally go nuts and this is a good test car anyway, but I've just given it a quick go there. I'm just gonna do this bit here. It's actually come up really well. Now, normally, if you're an intelligent person, unlike me, you would just wrap an elastic band around this and it would keep it protected. Or you wouldn't lose those steam cleaner socks in the first place, or you wouldn't be such a cheapskate and you'd just go and buy some more. But you know what I'm like, this is a tool that I don't use all the time, but when I do, my goodness, does it work. That is fresh, baby. I have waited so long just to do that. Way too long. As you can see, well, the seats aren't that bad. I mean, under the light here, you can see a little bit of dirt, but all in all, it's pretty good. Now, one thing to mention, just because it's damp and you think that those little stains have gone, it doesn't necessarily mean that is the case. Once this dries out, it's gonna be quite interesting to see how much of this dirt has actually been removed and how much of it is being covered up just by the damp moisture which has sat onto the seat because 
you will find this when you shampoo cars as well, you'll look at it and initially you'll be like, okay, I've done a really good job. And then you'll come back to it a day later and you'll see other patches where you just may have not sucked up enough water or something's just not worked. And you've got this thing called wicking on the seats. So I will show you what I mean actually later on. So what I'll then do is grab a second microfiber towel, try and dry it the best I can with that towel, but you don't wanna be rubbing too hard because like I said, this is Alcantara, so it's gonna be slightly different to your standard fabric seats. So you've gotta be very careful. I love these towels, seriously. They are the best microfiber cloths towels that you can get anywhere. I will put links in the description below and I have a discount code for them as well, which we get you 10% off. So looking at the seats, it's actually done a fantastic job and it's really nice because these seats feel fresh. It's quite a nice smell actually. Now this this car has previously been smoked in. I'm the ninth owner, by the way, which is crazy. And it has had probably a bit of a hard life. So it's not the cleanest of cars inside, but just by doing this, I feel very clean. I feel a lot fresher. So I'm really happy with that. But when we look here, if I put the camera just onto here onto the leather, I'll put the camera closer in a sec, but you'll see this leather is completely cracked. So I'm not gonna recommend doing this. However, I'm gonna do it because I wanna show you what could potentially happen. I mean, this is my car, I don't, I really don't care. So <laughs> I'm gonna run the steam cleaner over very worn and damaged leather, just so we can see for ourselves if it's really gonna damage it that much, because everybody says don't do it, but nobody's ever given you proof in the pudding, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna give this two more goings over, so five attempts. So with leather, what the heat would do is it would open up those pores, which means that when it comes to cleaning it, it should be able to open up where the nooks and crannies are and actually blast some of it out. Now I wouldn't go holding this close like this. Well, I'm going to, I'm gonna show you what happened. Cause that has literally, that's made that crack bigger. Look, there's a little crack here. I'm gonna make this bigger. Oh, wow, wow. So that shows you what would happen Oh my word, that's really opened it up. So that will show you what would happen if you were just to get a steam cleaner, hold it up really close to the leather and start cleaning it out. So although these may look like a great idea, if you're gonna start trying to steam out some of the seams around here, I'd be very careful if I was you. It's not something that I would personally recommend. Even just by doing that, that's just given me a bit of a heart attack. So yeah, maybe won't do that next time, but still you can see, yeah, you gotta be very careful. Right, so here's the section we're gonna look at. See this little, these gaps here? They don't look too big. Watch what's gonna happen now, ready? In seconds, look how much they've opened up. Oh, wow. You see, that's why they would recommend not steam cleaning leather, especially just using a tip like this. So let me just be very clear one moment on what I would and wouldn't touch with regards to this door. So things I would and wouldn't do. The last thing you wanna be doing is getting the speakers wet like this. Big mistake, you're gonna cause damage there, but also you've got all these little buttons and dials here. If you start steaming around here, I'm telling you now, you are literally going to destroy the electrics on your car. These window switches, that's gonna cost, you know, 50 to 60 quid if you wanted to get it repaired. You gotta get the little switch and you gotta pay someone to do it if you don't know what you're doing. It's too much of a risk just for the sake of cleaning some of this dirt here. If you wanted to be very, good with your antibacterial treatments, just get an antibacterial interior cleaner and do it that way. I can't necessarily see where steam cleaning plastics really comes in that handy. Nevertheless, I am gonna show you what happens when you steam clean the plastics because I've noticed this quite a few times when I've done a few cars in the past and especially when I've gone over some dark plastics and there's been some steam on it and it's had some sort of reaction or it's dried out the plastic in some way, you do get these patches and I'm going to try and deliberately cause a patch just so you can see what you shouldn't do. This here is the area I wanna focus on. I'm gonna show you what happens when you use too much steam on the plastic. So this is what I mean. You can see it now. This was the area that I just started steaming. Now, when I wipe this away, 
it's incredible because if you start offering this to someone else's car saying you're going to give them an antibacterial treatment and then it gets to drying it up watch what's going to happen because if you make this mistake it's going to cost you a lot of money to get this right if you want to put it right again and chucking cheapy dressings over it isn't going to work i held that on there for a few seconds now bearing in mind, newer cars, you might get away with it, but older stuff like this, you've got to be very careful because this now is something, if I start trying to dress it up again, it's only going to be a temporary fix. Other than that, it's going to look horrendous. Now I steam cleaned this, looks absolutely lovely by the way, and whilst the cloth was nice and hot because of the steam, I ran the microfiber cloth over just a cloth, and it's given me these results. So for plastic, look, I mean, although it's cleaned it up, it's not amazing. It's literally dried it out. And I mean, look, it's not perfect, is it? Definitely not. Right, now it's not looking like an overwhelming success for the steam cleaner yet, is it? But we do have a few other areas where it may actually be more beneficial. Right, the glass. This is where a steam cleaner really comes into its own. Watch this. Now, I know this was an interior video, but the same applies to the exterior as well for the glass. So I'm going to clean this glass up just using steam and two microfiber cloths. Watch this. You might be impressed. We then take the dry one, ignoring the fact I put the wet one on a dirty car roof. Don't tell anyone. Watch this. Well, actually I'll do the inside and then I'll do the big reveal. In seconds, I'm telling you now, this glass will be 100%, 100% perfect. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. But I'm not gonna move the cameras because you'll think it's faked. Oh, look at that. I've got a bright light there. Watch this. Here we go. Is that or is that not perfect? I mean, honestly, good luck finding faults with that. I mean, there's none. Now, one thing you will find in the winter months, if we look along the lower edge here towards the corner, if I can get in focus, you can see just here, you're getting moisture build up. So it's not always the best idea to do this when you've got very cold temperatures. If you do it in cold temperatures, leave the heaters on for a bit as well or keep the doors open. Just let a bit of air get in between those gaps there. But honestly, steaming, it does have its place. Look at that. So again, normally you're gonna be hoovering all this before you even attempt to steam it. But because this is a demo, I just wanna quickly show you what happens. Right, so that was a merely a couple of seconds. A few seconds of steam, and that's the results you're gonna get. Not going to be perfect, but it's still not too bad nevertheless. It's not really got all of the dirt out of those nooks and crannies. Now, what I would normally do is use the brush with a combination of the steam and the brush at the same time like this. So whilst you're steaming, get the brush in there and start tackling bits away. But the problem is with steam, it does dry out areas like this and then you just end up with faded pedals. So again, it's not really the best thing for those pedals, although it can do a quick and easy job. Is it any better than chemicals? <sighs> I don't think so. Now, because of what's just happened over there on the door with the plastic, I really don't want to be doing this for a lot of time. Literally, merely a few seconds at most. It's good if you want to clean out inside the vents here. Now, if you look closely, you can see here that mist is coming through. So it's a good idea in the sense that you can clear it all up. Although I want to recommend sticking your steamer in there like so, maybe like this or even like this. Now that does look very good for social media. I mean, whoa, look at that. But the problem is, again, if you can't find a good gap to get this in, all you're gonna do is start hammering all this plastic and it's gonna go faded just like 
what we proved over here where it's just doled it. And this is an older car again, so it's not every single new car that this is gonna happen to, but I'm just saying with some of the older cars, this is something you might have to face. Let's talk about this steering wheel because if I really wanna steam clean this steering wheel or I wanna get it nice and hot, I think the best thing I'm going to do is literally heat up the cloth that I'm using to such a crazy temperature like so, like this. Bearing in mind, this will build up so much heat, it's gonna get hotter and hotter and hotter. Right, this is absolutely scorching now. So at this point, I would start cleaning the steering wheel like this, if I wasn't to use any chemicals, for example. If, they, if, if I really didn't wanna use chemicals because I had some sort of allergies or something, and believe it or not, it is quite common. It will still do a good job, but it's not gonna kill off all the bacteria. And this takes me now down to another myth because a lot of people presume that steam cleaners will kill absolutely every single bacterial particle that you can possibly imagine in the entire universe. But the fact is, if I have this steam cleaner and I spray something like this, I'm not gonna kill any bacteria unless I literally held it on there for minutes at a time that it got so hot and it was constantly on there. Only then would it really kill off any bacteria. Right, so let's just establish something. Would I use a steam cleaner on the steering wheel? No, I wouldn't. Would I use it on the pedals? No, not really, because you don't need to. Would I use it on leather seats? Again, no, I wouldn't. Would I use it on plastics? If I was very careful, yes, but would I see much difference compared to using an antibacterial cleaner? No, absolutely not. But there is one other area that I'm sure you're probably thinking right now, why haven't I covered it? And that is the headlining. Right, so I'm going to rig the cameras up in a minute, but I'm just gonna take you through the quick process of how I would do the headlining if I had to. Now, before you even attempt the headlining, you've gotta ask yourself, why would you even do it in the first place? Well, number one, if a smoker has been in the car before you, previous owner's been smoking away and it stinks to high heaven, you are going to want to clean it out. Now, you can use those little fogget bomb things which you put in, they go off in there, you get all this mist, this smell, and it does freshen it up to a certain extent, but it's not clean. It's almost like it's covering up or masking the smell. The reason why you'd use a steam cleaner is because you want to tackle that smell that's actually got into the fabric, or in this case, into the headlining. So we're not gonna hold this on there for ages, and it's not something I would personally recommend because you're not really gonna get much dirt on there. You're not gonna get much stains because you can't really spill things on the ceiling. I get it if you've got a dog in the back of the car and they start shaking, they get mud everywhere then you could simply just wipe it. But there's not really a lot of options you have with headlining cleaning, and that's just the sad reality of it. So what I'm gonna do anyway is make sure that I've given the trigger a few squirts and got rid of any of that water that's just been discharged, because if you start soaking it straight away and I spray it straight up, it's gonna get saturated and then you're gonna have real problems. But also, before you even attempt it, you really should inspect the headlining and see if there is any key areas where there is a little bit of sagging or where it's just come unstuck because if you're doing someone else's car, it's really essential that you point out that it wasn't you that actually did it. It was actually already like that before you even started. At no circumstance would you ever just start hacking away like this. It's just gonna cause you even more problems. So take your clean cloth. I'm gonna go nice and easy, but this is so ridiculous. I would never recommend doing this anyway, but I know there's gonna be some of you who are just dying to try it. I mean, when you're steaming up and you get splashbacks and that, bearing in mind that I've not got anything on my face to protect me, this is boiling hot, you know. This comes back at you, it really hurts. I've had some nasty burns from using a steam cleaner. Another reason why I don't think they're all they're cracked up to be. So that is all I'm going to do. Now the reason why I'm doing that is because I just want to freshen it up. I wanna get rid of some of that cigarette smell, which has been in here for such a long time. And I am gonna notice a huge difference from doing this. I'm not soaking it. I've literally gone over it once. That is it. So if you do go any more than that, I'd be very, very careful if I was you. This is as far about as you could possibly go. Now, if you look here, we've got a cigarette burn here. You've got to look for a dedicated professional who can restore fabric who would be able to tackle that. But because we have this burn in here, it's exposed some of the foam, it's exposed some of the other elements. Another reason to be extra careful, I wouldn't go blasting that with steam, I would just take your damp towel and just gently wipe it. Unfortunately, it's just one of those hard facts of life. I mean, that's fine. I've literally sprayed 
one going over with the steam and that's as far as I could possibly go with that. You can just see the lines where I've been as well. So I'm just gonna tackle this pillar here as much as I can. Honestly, you can't win with it. It's, it's a very, do you know what, detailing is a very difficult thing to do. There's many scenarios where you just look at it and go, oh, I can't win at this, especially when it's freezing cold outside. You're trying to clean things and it's just turning to ice. That is hot, very hot. So now while this is scalding hot, I'm just gonna tackle those other areas where the steamer would not reach with that little crevice tool. Oh, there's a little fly there. How long has he been in there? The thing is though, once you have done this, it really does smell fresh. There's no other way to describe it. It feels cleaner. It's a nice environment to be in. So although I have kind of been quite negative towards steam cleaning, it just feels like a nicer place to be. And it really does. I mean, if anything, it can add some value to the car because you've given it a nice cleanup prior to selling it. And if it smells nice as well, people are gonna just be like, oh, you can tell this has been looked after. And it doesn't just stop here with the interior. I've also done a video on the engine bay. I've also done one previously on the glass covering it in a bit more detail. It's one of those tools, it's, there's so many times I wouldn't use it, but there's always gonna be that one time in your career when you're thinking, I wish I had a steam cleaner. And that's the problem with these things. Although I would never use it every single day, it's still an essential tool, if that makes sense. So let's have a look at this cream interior because it's not cream, is it? It's just disgusting, manky, brown, beige. I've just cracked my pants color. And looking at this here, I mean, I'm gonna to attempt to clean it the best I can to show you how far a steam cleaner will go, but I have already done a video on the mats, which I've probably already mentioned in this video, but I will put a link in the description below where you can go and find how well a steam cleaner could clean it up compared to the likes of a tornador, because I think when you have those two next to each other, you will see just how amazing a tornador is. But in terms of freshening the carpets and the fabric up and making it smell nicer, we're gonna still tackle it nevertheless. Now, if you look down here, I mean, this is really starting to rust away. I mean, it's, it is a bit ghastly. I'm gonna try and clean some of it up the best I can. I don't think I'm gonna get a miracle out of it, but nevertheless, I mean, yeah, let's just see what happens. Let's see what happens. I don't wanna to get too far ahead of myself. Now, if we look at that, it's not really done a lot, has it? It's not made much of an impact, not half as much as I would have hoped. Now, if I put a tornador on that, I reckon within a few seconds, few minutes even, that will be completely clean. It'll be immaculate. And that's because the tornador is using a combination of air pressure, a decent chemical as well, and you'll just constantly hit it and that cyclone's just spinning so quickly. And also you do need to pull some of that dirt out. So although the Tornador will be a million times better than this, you still need to suck out some of that dirt if you wanna get the really best results out of it. So relying on a steam cleaner, thinking a steam cleaner is gonna be better than some of those other tools, unfortunately it isn't. Now I really hope you understand some of the points that I was trying to get across. But the thing is, the steam cleaner that I was using right here is a Karcher SC3 domestic steam cleaner. None of your top of the range stuff, this is just a bog standard domestic steamer, which means that if I was to compare it to say something like a heavy duty commercial steamer, the results would be completely different. And I really do believe that's something I should be exploring on the channel very soon as we roll into the summer of 2024. So that could be happening. But it's not to say that the SC3 and the SC4 steamers are no good because they are. And steam cleaners do have their place within car cleaning. As we proved, it works wonders on the glass. You can clean the headlining to to a certain extent, you can clean some of the plastics. It's just that if you get it wrong, it's gonna go catastrophically wrong. So you have to be very careful. No, it cannot really clean those mats and the carpets up to the way that you'd probably expect. If you want something that's gonna be able to remove stains from fabric, ideally you need to be looking at a wet vac with some decent chemicals or better still go for a tornador. So no, I wouldn't use
use it on the steering wheel unless it was around the edges where the seams are. I wouldn't use it on anywhere where there's some buttons. I'll be very careful with plastics. If you hold it too close on plastic, all you're gonna do is just dry it out and it's gonna look faded and awful. No, it cannot remove every single stain if you've got stains in the carpets. Yes, it can blow out some of the dirt. It can agitate the dirt out of the pockets and clean it. Yes, it can help get rid of some of those smells in the headlining, but you've gotta be very careful not to cause any sagging if you oversaturate it. So you've gotta be very, very careful if you are going to attempt that. Yes, you can definitely get clean glass. As you can see here, that glass is absolutely perfect. I am gonna go as far to say that is 100% perfect. There's not a single smear or mark on that glass. It really does look that good. There's so many different ways you can use a steam cleaner. And this is just the inside. Bearing in mind, we've got the door shuts. We've got uh, an opportunity here to degrease those door shuts. If you've got loads of built up grease, yes, you can get that off, but it just depends on the steamer that you're using. These domestic ones, they're not really built for that sort of thing, but you will be able to get a half decent job anyway. Now, if you are somebody who wants to know more about interior cleaning, but you really don't wanna go down the route of using a steam cleaner, no problems because we have a video which has got you covered and I'll be leaving that video right here.